Hello and welcome to the Sports Corner. I'm Dave Holcomb. Today we're coming from inside my house and here in New Jersey because it's raining outside. And today's installment, I want to go over a team that not many people are talking about this year in Major League Baseball. That's because they're not too good in the standings anyway. The San Francisco Giants, the defending World Series champions, already have over 70 losses this year. More than likely will not be going back to the playoffs. They are currently in last place in the National League West. They lost 12-1 to on Wednesday against the Boston Red Sox. Barry Zito really roughed up in that outing, as well as the rookie that came on to pitch gave up six runs as well. That was Mike Kickham. So 12 runs allowed in that game. The Giants were outscored 21-4 to in the series against the Red Sox this week. Somehow they were able to win one of those games 3-2, to but really struggling in San Francisco. It hasn't totally been the offense's fault. I would say last year that was the weaker part if you want to compare the offense to the pitching. Buster Posey and Marco Scudero were all-stars this year. Buster Posey, 3 303 average, 14 home runs, and 62 RBIs. Scudero holding his own as well, batting 297. He's not much of a power hitter, so only two home runs and around 24 RBIs. But the, the team doesn't have much much power. The, the leading home run hitter has 15 home runs, and the pitching has really struggled. Two pitchers did make the all-star all-star team in Madison Bumgarner, who's having a good season starting. He's 11-7, 282 ERA in 163 innings pitched. He struck out 157 batters. And their closer, uh, Sergio Romo, has 30 saves with a 2.72 ERA. So they're getting the job done. But guys in years past that have been really good for the Giants, I'm talking about Tim Lincecum, Matt Cain, and Barry Zito. Those three starters have been awful this year. I don't think that's an understatement to use that word. Lincecum, we've seen his downfall the last couple of years after winning multiple Cy Young awards. He's really struggled. We thought maybe he pitched a lot. Well, he pitched a lot better last fall and in October, so we, we were hoping that he would come a little bit closer back to that Cy Young form. Threw a no-hitter earlier this summer, but overall, not very good at all. 6-13 and record with an ERA above 4. Matt Cain. Very average, 8-8. Eight and eight. His ERA, 4.35. And Barry Zito, another guy who struggled ever since he signed that big contract in San Francisco back in, I believe it was 2008. But he pitched very well last fall in October, helped the team out, pitched a really critical Game 5 to beat the St. Louis Cardinals in the National League Championship Series. His ERA, 5.63, and a record of 4-9. and nine. That is why the San Francisco Giants are not going to repeat as major as as World Series champions in Major League Baseball. We're going to have extensive coverage of the Giants on Around the Diamond podcast come out on Friday morning, and we're going to feature a bunch of teams that we haven't talked much about on the show on that episode.